O.J. Simpson transcended color. He was a celebrity. He was loved. And now, below me, I'm watching a man running from the police who might very well find himself, like many black men, at the end of a gun, you know, and, and, and being shot to death. Oh, I'd done other chases. That was not unusual to do, but this one certainly was. And, and as you know, they characterized as the low speed chase, and it was. I think it was a couple of months before that, had worked on a TV movie called Frogmen that OJ was the star of it. Really, I'm gonna go from, you know, from having worked on a TV movie with them to this. What are you seeing down there? The people showing up on the sides of the freeways and waving like this was some sort of game, that this was some sort of parade. It wasn't. Two people were dead. A man was wanted now by the police and he might find himself dead for refusing to give himself up. This is AC, I have OJ in the car. Said he got a gun to his head. Al Callings made the left turn, pulled into the driveway, and it was there that there was a standoff, and, and the negotiators were talking to OJ. But what OJ didn't know, and what the public didn't know, is on, in my ear, I'm also listening to the LAPD SWAT team talking on their two-way radios, and what they were saying was, you know, they had, they had him in their sights. Nobody wanted to shoot OJ Simpson on live television. Why do you think people are still fascinated with the O.J. Simpson story? It just re-illustrates the divide in people, that people lined up on certain sides right away. He had the, the, the traditional African-American experience in this nation, and he was able to succeed. He went right to the very top, and it gave African-American kids, families, hope. And then to see it devolve into, into a slow-speed pursuit, wanted for two homicides. Shocking to everybody, really. Not just shocking, but demoralizing.